Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, arrays and for loops and how you can use uh, for loops to go through an array and print things out. So in the first uh, line of main here, uh, I'm creating an array of numbers. The array is an array of ints or integers, and the brackets denote that it's an array as opposed to just this, uh, uh, an integer that can hold one number. I call it my numbers. And this is one way of putting the numbers into the array. You use the curly braces, and you simply put the numbers in. So I have numbers uh, 0 through 6, which is the total of seven numbers. Um, and what I want to do is print them out. So what I do is I have a for loop here. And uh, for loop, again, is three parts. There's an in initialization part, where I set up an counter for the index. Then I have a test. So I check if the index is le less than the length of the array, which the array is seven uh, elements long. And then if that's true, I execute, in this case, one line, just print out the number of the uh, that's in the index uh, in the array, and then I increment by my one. So I go to the next element. So the loop actually occurs right in here. So in this system.out.print line, this notation with the brackets basically says when index is zero, if it's less than seven, which it is, zero is less than seven, I go to the zero thing. So the brackets, you could basically put the number zero in here, which is the zero thing. It prints it out, increments it by one. Now index is one. Is one less than seven? Yes, that's true. So this word index is basically the number one, which is the first element. Number two, number three, all the way to the end. And when it's done, when this no longer is true, it jumps out of the for loop. And that would be the end of the program. So let's run it and make a couple changes to see what happens. Compile, no errors. Come back here, run it. And there are my numbers. All right. So if I go ahead and in here and change, and I, let's say I go 10, 99, and 100, add three more numbers there, the length changes automatically. So when the for loop goes through and processes the array or goes through and prints out each number, it knows the length is different now. And just for fun, well, we add one line here. We'll add one line to print out the length of the array. Just to see what it is, which it should be 8, 9, 10, I believe. Compile, run. And so there are my numbers. And the last number here is the actual length of the rate, which is 10. So this uh, example gives you a um, set of code that creates an array of integers and goes through and uses a for loop to print everything out and then finally prints out the length of the array. One little change I'll make here at the end. I'll take out the ln and I'll run it. And as you probably know, the ln means new line, so it doesn't put any spaces in there, which kind of looks odd. So what we can do is we can actually add in here a little space. So print out the number and add to it a space. So we get a space in between numbers. So we can just concatenate strings inside the system.print.outline. And run it. And there are your spaces. And that's your example for a for loop with an array.